welcome back in this video i am going to discuss about thermal equilibrium relation between temperature and kinetic energy specific heat and its units applications of specific heat now thermal equilibrium what is thermal equilibrium see when two bodies are placed in thermal contact heat energy will be transferred from hotter body to colder body transfer of heat energy continues till both bodies attain the same degree of hotness or coldness when two bodies attain same degree of hotness or coldness transfer of heat energy stops thus the state of thermal equilibrium denotes a state of a body where it neither receives nor gives out heat energy that means if you place two bodies with different temperatures in contact heat transfers from hot body to cold body this continues till both the bodies attain same temperature next absolute temperature what is absolute temperature the temperature measured on kelvin scale is called absolute temperature the relation between temperature and kinetic energy take two bowls one with hot water and second with cold water this is cold water and hot water sprinkle food color on the surface of the water in both the bowls you just sprinkle food color now we observe that the jiggling of the grains of food color in hot water is more when compared to the jiggling in cold water bodies possess kinetic energy when they are in motion we observe the kinetic energy of the particles in hot water is more when compared to the kinetic energy of the particles in cold water so the temperature of the body is an indicator of the average kinetic energy of molecules of that particular body the average kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to the absolute temperature so this is the relation between temperature and kinetic energy they both are directly proportional if that means if temperature increases kinetic energy also increases if temperature decreases kinetic energy also decreases now relation between heat mass and temperature what is the relation between quantity of heat and mass so quantity of heat is directly proportional to mass so if proportional to m so the quantity of heat is directly proportional to change in temperature so q is directly proportional to delta t so delta indicates change delta indicates change in temperature so from these two equations we can get q is proportional to m delta t so from this to remove that proportionality we use a constant that constant is s which is specific heat so for the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of unit mass of the substance by 1 unit so from this s is equal to q by m delta t where q is quantity of heat m is mass and delta t be the change in temperature and s be the specific heat and units so the si unit of specific heat is joule per kilogram kelvin cgs unit of specific heat is calorie per gram degree celsius one calorie per gram degree celsius is equal to 1 kilo calorie per kilogram kelvin and that 4.2 into 10 power 3 joule per kilogram kelvin why is the specific heat different for different substances so we know that temperature of a body is directly proportional to the average kinetic energy of the particles of the body means if temperature increases kinetic energy also increases the molecules of the system have different forms of energies so what are those energies linear kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy vibrational energy and potential energy these are the different forms of energies which are there in the system 
the total energy of the system is called as internal energy of the system means this linear kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy vibrational energy and potential energy all to be called as internal energy when we supply heat energy to the system the heat energy given to it will be shared by the molecules among the various forms of energy this sharing will vary from substance to substance the rise in temperature is high for a substance if the maximum share of heat energy is utilized for increasing its linear kinetic energy this sharing of heat energy of the system also varies with temperature that is the reason why the specific heat is different for different substances now applications of specific heat capacity so the sun delivers a large amount of energy to the earth daily so the major source of energy for us is sun so the water sources on earth particularly the oceans these oceans absorbs the energy to maintain the relatively constant temperature that's why oceans behave like heat store houses for that so they can absorb large amounts of heat at the equator without appreciable rise in temperature due to high specific heat of water therefore oceans moderate the surrounding temperature near the equator ocean water transports the heat away from the equator to areas closer to the north and south poles this transported heat helps moderate the climates in parts of the earth that are far from the equator that's why we call the oceans as uh, heat store houses oceans are called as heat store houses watermelons watermelon brought out from the refrigerator retains its coolness for a longer time than any other fruit because it contains large percentage of water the samosa appears to be cool outside but it is hot when we eat it because the curry inside the samosa contains ingredients with higher specific heats 